just check. That's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Not bad, huh? A little bit. It's a bit warm, but I got it. It's nice. Oh, okay. oh, thank you. Wow. Okay, smiley. Yeah. I must ask you to. Uh, I love this. Sweet the, bread. The, the pan dulce? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's probably one of my favorite ones, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they come in two different versions, right? <laughs> right. Uh, just the bread alone and then with sugar on top, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the significance of the clown? You know who Who's that? When I was little, um, for my birthday, when I was a kid, they used to, they always used to paint me as a clown, you know? Uh-huh. And I hated that thing. I used to cry. I was like... Yeah, I'll be a clown or whatever, right? Uh -huh. um, but my family thought it was cute, so they would dress me up with a really nice, elaborate clown costume. You know, and, uh, and uh, you know, when you grow up, you sort of appreciate the things that bring you the most intense memories, right? And, yes. Uh, so that's kind of like why now, when I think back about, you know, in this case, my grandmother, uh, when she passed away, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I... I, I, I saw myself kind of as a kid, still yeah. carrying, you know, my grandmother. When I started making this piece, I was thinking about death and the rituals of death and our belief systems behind death. But just memories of my grandmother and the things that she would say. One of the reasons why my dogs are in this image is because she would tell us to be kind to dogs, to animals, but specifically dogs. Because when you die, a dog is your guide to the other side, to the afterlife. And so, of course, everybody in the family believed grandma. No one ever questioned her, and you know. It turned out that that's an ancient pre-Columbian belief. If you think about the Colima dogs and their significance. And so I drew a bunch of images that relate to death. 